What's going on, Brosif? The old line keeps freezing up. It keeps icing up and uh, it shuts off on the inside, but the outside keeps running. Might have a stuck contactor. Yeah, so when I first showed up on the call, the pressures were real low, really low. Like 20 degree saturation. And it's because they use these thick filters. These aren't good. Couldn't breathe. So I pulled that out and put one of our cheapos in. Pressures went back to normal. And then I said, okay, cool. So I came in, bumped the thermostat up to 78 where they had it. It was 75 in the apartment. Inside shut off, outside kept running. So usually tells me that's just a, a stuck, a stuck uh, contactor. Just gonna turn the power off. I turn the air handler off to kill power. And if the contactor is still stuck in, change it out. No, once I shut power off, the contactor uh, separated. It disengaged, so maybe his nest, he's got one of those nests that he installed. I'm gonna have to pull it out, man. Sorry, you can't have the nest. Let's dig deeper here. Maybe shutting the power off, turning it back on, reset it. I don't know. I hate these, these nests. Yeah, usually when a contactor is stuck, when I turn the power off to it, it'll stay stuck. It'll stay made, you know, closed. It won't un undo when I shut the power off, but this time it did. running go look at the outside all right the outside came on contactor is not stuck so let me go bump it up see if it is shut off all right that should shut it off it's their personal thermostat it's not one of ours I don't like it when they put it in their own thermostats all right, the indoor unit shut off, but I can still hear refrigerant moving through the line. I'm gonna have to get with this guy and remove this nest. Yeah, see the indoor unit shut off, but the outdoor unit is still running. And it'll start icing this line up. That's how I noticed it. I was out here doing grounds, picking up garbage, and this was iced up. So we're still getting 24 volt signal to here. But when I turn the breaker off, it stopped. So, and the thermos and the uh, contactor disconnected. So I don't think it's a bad contactor. I think it's that nest. Don't know how to use this thing, man. My first experience with it. I'm trying to figure out how to turn it off. Dude, how do you use this thing? Well, well, I'm just gonna leave the disconnect pulled until the resident says I can take that nest off. I think that's gonna be the culprit. I've heard those things were nightmares. So, waiting on the resident to reply. All right, the resident is gone and allowed me to switch out the thermostat to see if that's what it was. Indoor unit is running. Let's go check the outdoor unit. All right, the outdoor unit just came on. It's the only one that's running there on the far right. That's the one. So we go bump up the temperature and if it shuts off, the nest is the culprit. Yeah, it's 80 degrees because I had the unit off. Didn't want it to keep freezing up. Let's 
So that should shut off the indoor unit should shut off. All right, indoor unit just shut off and I don't hear refrigerant still moving through the system. So it's a good sign, a good check. All right, the outdoor unit shut off. It was the nest. The guy ain't too happy about that. I talked to him on the phone, the office did, and he's like, no, it's not the nest. I'm gonna have a professional come out and look it over. It's the nest, bro. I changed out the thermostat and it's functioning normally. So, <sighs> well, that's it. Easy fix. Change out the thermostat. Can't use the nest. See you on the next video. Well, my